Good day everybody, how are you all doing? Did you have a good weekend? Last week I went to Peppa Pig World and my daughters loved it. Dinosaur ride, Mrs. Rabbit's helicopter, meeting the Queen, it was great stuff. Today we have the 14th episode of the Let's Play Football Manager 22 Chef Wednesday series. In this episode we continue to speed through the games and show you the best ones with gameplay. Today you will see us play in the quarterfinals of the Papa John's Trophy and we go head to head against Ipswich in a vital game for us to keep chasing for automatic promotion. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's get FM in. Just give you an update of where we left you last. So we are out of FA Cup. We got knocked out by Lincoln. We played them away, getting them, which, you know what, our players just didn't turn up. We lost 1-0. And then our team, you know what, two home games, two wins, 2-0, two 3-0. And that has now put us in a really good position. So we got a game in hand. We would go one point behind Cholton, which is really, really good. Our form is just fantastic. Last five games, we are second with Ipswich top. Let's play our Man City game, shall we? So we are away, but I think we would be the better team, experienced team at least. So we should maybe take the game to them. I mean, I've been playing this home formation. I'm not too sure about playing a Gen Gen Press away. It just, I don't know, I just don't feel if we go back to our away games. I think we've just been drawing loads, haven't we? So we lost there, won there, that was a good win. That was a good draw, but draw and draw these formations so i mean we're not losing yes we lost that one our team just literally did not show up look at the rates just awful our defense it was all over us hence why our defense it could have easily been probably five nil if i'm honest it was that bad yeah i'm tempted to go with this go and try and take the game to them play our passing game and see what happens i offers away on international duty so dunkley will come in bannon's just coming back from injury so we will move this around a little bit. Yeah, I can play him there. So Windows can be replaced by Cabernet as he's got better form. All right, let's go. Let's see if this is the right choice. Do one tactic, two tactics. As you can see, we got three tactics. There's a third tactic that I found on YouTube. I'll give you a link uh, to he. I can't remember his name. Sorry, RDF Tactics. Go check him out. I mean, he g gives you amazing analysis of how he builds tactics. And you know what? <laughs> Your mind will be blown. I just really couldn't explain it better. I had to make tweaks and I make what I think, but sometimes it always doesn't work. I mean, the first two tactics are taken basically from the game and then I've tweaked it and I make tweaks as I go along because obviously you need to keep analyzing based on your team. But the way he describes it and shows you for analysis and how he comes up with tactics, mind blowing. So go check him out for link so yeah i've got a formation he created for free free it's my third formation it's a bit out there i think it'd be amazing for a top tier team but i've got it there just in case obviously we play like a relegation team it's something that we can go into or if we want to try and get back in the game it's a risk i mean if we're losing 2-0 we might as well switch to it and see if we can create something from it the chef wednesday team have done better than some people had expected to reach this stage of papa john's trophy don't see why we can't go away got the team for it taking it serious and that it's a trophy right great if i can get promotion and win this They're amazing but we got man city standing in our way at the moment hopefully our experience will show in this game yeah he hasn't been that prolific he's been playing well in that role just hasn't been prolific the one go wing wing going cricket no out wide to your hunt hunt whip it in ah oh, yes a goalkeeper made a meal of that he completely missed it very great goal just want to look at stats how are we doing yeah i think it was the right choice considering we are playing possession we're not holding the possession so i might have to take that in mind that maybe we do go gen gen press they're going to look to hold the ball, right? Yeah, I think we're sitting far back, let, letting them put pressure on us, but the Gen Gen will push up. Ooh, slow dive by our goalkeeper. Nice play, Adrian. To Gregory, come on, Gregory. 
Yes. Let's think about taking him off. It's down now. And with that, what we will do is we will go cautious tactics. Clover News not playing that great. So let's bring on Windass. Once having a great game, but he's tired. Let's bring on my new player. And see, really, really attacking. Bob. Ah, oh, that was a good ball. Oh, 10 minutes left. And you know what? I'm going to have to uh, put this back to balance because they are all over us at the moment. We need to get some sort of control. Push up top again. Is it all over? No, fourth minute. Ah, oh, my God, 94th minute. Typical football manager. Ah, it's disallowed. So who are we going to play in for semi-finals? Okay, so it could be another under-23 team. Leeds, Arsenal, Bolton, Cholton, or Oxford. Oh, a big game, Ipswich. So next game I will do some footage. Oxford, I'll just play through. Maybe Wigan. So Ipswich, Wigan. We are currently fourth game in hand. One point behind for leaders if we win that game in hand. I feel like we are flying through these games. Yes, indeed. Now we are playing Ipswich. They are third, I think. Yes, they are third. We do have a game in hand over them, but this is a massive six pointer to just leapfrog them, win this with a game in hand still to go. Be amazing. Really concentrating on completing the shift Wednesday. Let's play. And it's got to do a season, right? I might do a second season on i guess if we get promoted yeah if we don't get promoted then it's a bit like meh another season of league one but i think if it's we go into a championship and then obviously there's a lot for us to do you can see our form is really really good players are playing well you don't expect that with us being up there this time of the season going going into february i feel like i've flown through this it was christmas not longer we are at home we are at home so we will play uh tick attacker I think that's what I'm more leaning towards of just playing home and away. So no changes from last game. Let's go six pointer. This is us chasing top. We're at home. I want to win. Cover new wing. Oh, yeah. outside off the foot shots. Unlucky wing. He's got it in him. It's funny that wing's now taking that type of role that Byers was at the beginning of the season. Byers just can't get himself back into the team. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I don't like, I just don't get for his system recommend sometimes. Yeah, I'm proud of effort so far. Keep going. Come on. Route one and route one's worked. Oh, great save. Jesus. Come on, boys. It's like we fell asleep. Seems fifth minute. I feel like I'm going to make a tactical change. We are dominating, but we're just not getting it through. Right, Hunt. Edwin Still can't say his name. Hunt. Wing. Aiden. Let's call him Aiden. Gibson. What's his first name actually? I might call him by his first name. What is his first name? Dennis. Let's call him Dennis. So I can't say his surname. At least be polite and call him by his first name. Right, Wing. Hunt. Dunkley. What's going on? We've got possession. Dennis. Cabernet. Gregory. Gregory finds it through. Yes. Okay, we don't need to change up. Do we go cautious? I think we need to, right? We need to play a little bit more. Don't play defensive. Play cautiously. Don't panic. We deserve to win above stats. But can we hold off? Dunkley. Oh, I'm lucky. That near post set piece. YouTube it. YouTube it. F1's doing it. Joined for party. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, last minute goal. Bloody football manager. Rubbish. And you know what? It's not me. It's not just me. It's, it's everyone in the community has the issue. It's not me. And no, 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 it's not just me. It's not me. You can win 3 0 and suddenly you can play like war against someone. Suddenly your team gets too much, plays in the back, can't possibly punch you, and fucking comes back. And it's in the game, more interesting, more competitive. But my goal is to come back. When you're the first team, you're the first unbeaten. And you get screwed over by coding, and it's time to make the game more interesting. However, oh, yes, I have to break it down a little bit. This happens far too much. And if we score now, it's a sacrifice. <laughs> it's a sacrifice. It's a, um, oh, what's the word? After all that whinging, oh, why? Two goals in the last 90 minutes, in the last four minutes. Why? Why do you do that? I know football's like this anyway, but great win. Great win. <laughs> we deserved it. Stats, stats showed it. But normally, normally, 
we would either lose 1-0 with these stats or we would get last minute goal and get a draw or, lo or lose. Oh my god. And this is why we play these games. It's because A, it makes us angry, it makes us emotional. But when you've gone away and you've you thought about it and you're like, oh wow, that was that was close, that was good. Can I do better? It's it's crazy. So Cholton lost, and now we're one point behind them with a game in hand. And Wimbledon looks like they've won, but we could go on the same points as them. 